So I don't know if you can tell, but I am watching Massey Art Studio premiere of their Eight Maids of Milking video tonight while also trying to do my own pour. So if I'm a bit distracted, I'm terribly sorry. But these guys are good and you should really go check them out. Welcome back to my channel. This is Arizona Rock Garden Designs with me, Julie E. And if you're joining us for the first time, welcome, welcome, welcome. Please feel free to hit the subscribe button, the thumbs up button, and maybe even share it if you would. I would appreciate it. It helps me immensely and costs you nothing. Um, so, if you saw the intro clip, you saw that I was... Um, setting up, starting my own little pour and everything that I had prepared with different colors and stuff, um, for kind of a Christmas pour, and I was watching Massey Art Studios, and they were doing the eight maids of milking for the 12 days of Christmas premieres that they have for all these 12 days leading up to Christmas Day, and... I thought for sure that they were going to do possibly a monochromatic, like, dairy cow kind of themed um, pour, and it wasn't. And it was really pretty. Oh, 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 oh. You've got to go check it out. I will leave a link for that in the, in the description, and I will also leave a link for just their channel. And... Um, I wonder, I might be able to actually get a playlist. If they've got a playlist for the 12 days of Christmas, I will try and grab that link and put it in the description also. But seeing that they did not do a monochromatic pour, I thought, well, heck, why don't I do one? So that's what we're doing because I've done dips. I just haven't done one on camera. Um, yeah, I know how to do a dip. When I dip, you dip, we dip. Um, and I have not done a diptych. So we're dipping a diptych. And <laughs> this will be my first dipping of a diptych. Usually I just do the reverse dip where you press it down into the paint. So this will be new for me. And guess what? This is my 50th video, you all. Oh my gosh. I, I'm just overwhelmed. I'm overwhelmed that I've made it to 50 videos. I'm overwhelmed that I've got to over 200 subscribers. And I just want to thank you all so much for all your love and support that you show me. And yeah, it, it's overwhelming and it's touching. And uh, I'm getting choked up. So moving on. Um... <laughs> Moving on, um, what we're using is just black and white. That's it. But the white recipe is a little complicated. That one has, get it? That one has um, Artist Loft Flow White Acrylic. And with that, I put in about maybe a tablespoon of the Deco Art Americana Satin Enamels. And to that, I put quite a bit of um, the Sargent Art acrylic paint and mixed those together and then added um, my pouring medium. And I'm back to my old school pouring medium, the Elmer's School Glue. Can't tell you how much it was so frustrating working with that Elmer's glue all. Oh my gosh. Yeah, they are not the same. So yeah, we're back to our old pouring medium. The Elmer's school glue mix 70-30 and shake into the point of insanity. So that's what we've got there. And then this one is the easy one. 
This one is just Artist Loft Flow Black and the pouring medium. And these are actually mixed 50-50. 50% paint, 50% pouring medium. So, wanted them a little bit thicker. And I guess we'll get going. Um, I am going to lay down white first and then I am going to pour out black on top of them on one to make it look like um, a cow pattern. A moo moo. Hey Sarah Mac. Hey moo. <laughs> I love that cat. Um, but yeah, we're going to make a dairy cow pattern and see what it looks like after we smush it together and peel it apart. So here we go. I will probably put some music on for you and fast forward this. Okay, we're back and here comes the fun messy part and I say messy because if you've been watching any of my videos for any length of time you know that there is a reason that my mother did not name me Grace <laughs> so here we go we're gonna flip this one over onto this one and then flip that sandwich together over on top of itself before we pull them apart okay so that's how this is gonna work in theory here we go. Womp. Okay. Yes, I come complete with sound effects. All right, so we've got that on there. Now, I've got to pick this up. Okay, and flip it. Ooh, it's kind of smooshing around, sliding a little bit, so this is gonna look funky. Okay, let me put these back in place. Kind of, sort of, where I think they were. Okay, all right, I think they were there. Okay, uh, and let me rinse my hands so I don't get paint all up and down on the frames inside the canvas. Believe it or not, as messy as I am, I do try to keep even the backs of my paintings as nice as I possibly can. And just, I guess I'm anal like that, I don't know. I try. I wasn't that way in the beginning, but yeah, I just, when I first started pouring, I really didn't care what the backs looked like and stuff, but as I gained more experience and know-how and stuff, then, then I became more concerned about how it would look if I sold them, 
So that's why I try and keep them as clean as possible. So here we go. We're pulling it apart. There we go. Oh, that's kind of cool. In its own way. way? Hmm. I kind of like that. Okay, that's got a lot of paint in the center right there. I wonder if I should have smushed them and peeled them apart. Because that's just a lot of paint on this one. And that was the one on the bottom, so that's... Well, I guess we'll see how it dries. Um, I'm going to torch it because this paint does have a lot of bubbles in it. I did just mix it up on the spot right before I started filming. I had a pseudo swipe poinsettia planned and everything made up and ready to go and then yeah the inspiration of the Massey boys Jeremy and Lee just hit me like a lightning bolt once you get hit like that with the inspiration you gotta just go with it and do it cuz it'll bug you if you don't and then you can't really concentrate on what what else you were gonna do so what I will do is I will take these and set them in a different level area to dry and I will do the poinsettia swipe and that will be on Friday's dry results video sound good sounds good to me have kind of a Christmas themed well more of a Christmas look to it um, on Christmas so I will see you then until then have a very safe and healthy and loving rest of your week and any other happy holidays you may be celebrating during this time Loves and hugs, y'all. See you on Christmas Day. Bye.